At this time, I want to call to order the regularly scheduled meeting for the Town of Florence Planning and Zoning for 6 p.m. on August 15, 2013. Mr. Ogeen, can you take roll, please? Yes, I will. Chairman Woolley? Present. Chairman, Vice Chair Patrick? Present. Commissioner Petty? Present. Commissioner Anderson? Present. Commissioner Reed? Present. We have a quorum. Thank you. Could you all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Next agenda item on the agenda this evening is the dis discussion, approval, disapproval of the minutes for the regular meeting conducted on June 6, 2013. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. He's going to make it part of his motion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there is uh, the call to order was. Part, make it part of your motion. Yeah. Um, uh, the error is the um, opening of the meeting, call to order. So um, I make a motion that we approve uh, the, meeting, the meeting with the change to the uh, uh, statement about the call to order that it was uh, Vice Chair Patrick rather than uh, Commissioner Petty. Do I have a second on that motion? I make a second. I have a motion on the floor to uh, accept the, mo the minutes as presented this evening with the one correction so set forth. Motion made tonight by Commissioner Puttrick and seconded by Commissioner Petty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Those minutes have been approved with that one stipulation. Next agenda item for this evening will be agenda item number five under new business. This will be case number PZC 30-13 design review on the Pulte Del Webb Memorial Stadium. This is a presentation approval disapproval of a design review application for the Pulte Del Webb Memorial Stadium located at the southwest corner of Merrill Ranch Parkway and Constitutional Way in Florence, Arizona. Mr. O'Gean, do you have a presentation? Yes, I do. Hello? Testing? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. I can't. Yeah, myself, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, me too. I got my... As you can see in front of you um, on your screens, we have, the, we have a location a map there in front of you to show you, uh, give you perspective on where the, this new proposed stadium is going to be located at. On the map, you have the Anthem at, at Marketplace um, commercial corner that we have off of Hunt Highway and Merrill Ranch Parkway. Um, the stadium is going to be in the community center, which is kind of in the center of the Anthem project. There's a yellow circle around it right now. Uh, really excited tonight because, uh, as, as most of you know, this project's been in the making for several years, and now we're starting to get to see um, all the amenities that are coming in that were promised in the beginning. Uh, one of them being this uh, Memorial Stadium uh, Sports Park. It's about a 62-acre um, community park center. The entire facility is bordered by uh, Mill Ranch Parkway, Constitution Way, American Way, and Anthem Way currently. Uh, right now, it houses an amphitheater, an adventure playground, soccer field, and two, two little league fields. There we go. And in front of you, this gives you, uh, once again, more perspective on how it lays out, where things are going to be uh, located. Um, so here in front of you, this is, uh, this is where the majority of, of the um, amenities are, are located. It was kind of funny because um, Dan is here tonight from uh, Pulte Homes, and they've been doing so many projects and uh, building homes and doing quite well here in the area that uh, they had talked about bringing this project and it was going to start moving forward. And we thought it'd be uh, it would help to show you guys what this stadium is going to look like and give you some perspective on the location of of certain things like the um, the parking, the restrooms and how it's going to face and look in the community. So the next image, here's kind of just some pictures of the, uh, the community park amenities. Shows you there the fitness center, some of the uh, um, tennis courts, uh, the water park, the adventure playground, the amphitheater, um, volleyball fields. Here we go. This image kind of gives you another lay, layout of, of how it's going to look. Um, obviously, the, 
the red area, um, and right in front of it, that's that's the main portion of the uh, of the ballpark. Um, the red area points to the st the stadium um, seating, about 132 seats. Uh, the concession stands are right behind it. Um, it's going to have restrooms uh, for uh, men and women, and then over to um, I believe it'd be to the east of the park is where the park, where the new parking lot is going to be. Now there already is existing parking within this um, community center, but this is more parking to accommodate um, this, this field that they're uh, proposing tonight. As mentioned before, uh, the restrooms do have ADA compliant handicapped stalls as, as required. Um, the facility is basically, um, it's based on traditional prairie style architecture. Basically what you see now uh, was try to recreate that same look, make it feel like it's always been there. Um, the next image will give you kind of a, a front view of what this is going to end up looking like. Uh, pretty exciting because it actually has shade cover. Um, it's, it's got uh, concrete walls um, and there's, a, there's, there's brick and there's all kinds of uh, different features that exist now in the area. And like I said, behind it is where the restrooms, the concession stand is going to be. Um, so this is just one of more amenities that are coming down the road um, as this community starts to build out. Here's another image kind of looking from the back, um, shows you the pillars, the shade structures, um, and it, it's called the Pulte Dow Webb um, Memorial Stadium. I'll have Dan come up here and explain why that is. Um, I think that's kind of interesting actually. But there is about, in the parking lot, there is, um, it's going to be a um, circular parking lot with two drive lanes. Um, there's going to be about 185 spaces um, and six of them being um, ADA accessible. This does meet um, town code and also what's within the PUD. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, I'd be happy to answer them or if we have Dan here, he didn't come all the way from Scottsdale for nothing, so please ask him any questions you may have that pertain to this project, um, not to the housing around it, but specifically to this amenity. Um, we'd be more happy to answer any ones that you may have. Any questions? Commissioners? No. Yes. Questions. Uh, I'm not sure, looking at this plan, what the priorities are other than the. You need to speak up, sir. I can't hear you. I'm not sure what the priorities are other than the softball field. Uh, what what is being built? Streets are being built. You said the parking lot is going in. Uh, this shows the uh, proposed uh, uh, multi-purposes play courts. Since I walked by there today, I assume that they're being built now. Tonight, what's on um, review for, for commission is this stadium and yeah. the parking and the ADA, the ADA uh, compliant restrooms and the concession stand. That's what we're talking about tonight. That's what we're asking for approval, disapproval at this um, I can look into the questions um, on other facilities being built um, and see if they need to come to, you know, to uh, design review. But tonight, the focus is what you have in front of you, which is the stadium. Well, I guess I would like to see the total plan, not dates or times when things are going to be built, but at least, you know, what all is going to be built in that area because one of my concerns is having the two separate parking lots. Uh, without any connection between the two because if people are going to go t to an event there how do they know which parking lot that they're going to end up in and you know I would think we'd have some kind of tie between the parking lots to you know in case we do have an overflow um, I'm gonna have Dan um, come up and address the question about okay. um, existing parking lots new parking lots and uh, connect connectivity of both parking lots well, you know, and Dan, while you're coming up, you know, part of my question also is looking at this and seeing what's going on there is the uh, existing uh, Little League fields. Uh, there's supposed to be a parking lot over there eventually. Uh, you know, how is that going to be connected and where is the access street for that parking lot and what's going to be done because it looks like right now the old dirt road that went up there is no longer there with all the grading that's being done and I don't know if that's, if that's going away 
uh, you know, where's the Little League parking lot, right? You know. Commissioner Anderson, let me just uh, start by taking, I heard several questions, uh, one of which is kind of a master plan for what we're doing at the park. Um, while it's easy to, to put something together, it's not, it's not in reality right now because what we've shown there, you can kind of see some of the grayed out areas. We've got um, two other softball fields to the south of our, so there'll be three softball fields ultimately in our uh, final phase, but we're showing basketball courts, another park, or another parking lot. There'll be play structures. We just don't know right now to say definitively that there will be these amenities brought on in the future phases of the park. What we're looking at right now today is uh, we feel there's a strong need for uh, a stadium softball field, and that's what we're bringing on here, which will be the centerpiece of the park. Uh, each of our Sun City communities have this, uh, the stadium <coughs> championship fields. Uh, we have on board SiteWorks, which is the same contractor that's doing the landscaping for the Cubs stadium right now. So we feel very fortunate to bring them on to be building this field. It's going to be, uh, by all accounts, one of the best softball fields in the Valley. So we're very excited to bring it on. Um, but to, we've looked at another number of different options for what we want to bring in this park. Um, but to stand here today, it, it's difficult to identify what will be there because uh, as things change, we may need to bring on uh, more basketball courts, whatever it could be. So uh, right now, uh, as Gilbert said, we're concentrating on this phase of development, which is the softball stadium field, the two multi-purpose, uh, and then the parking lot that we're bringing on. To address your question of the connectivity, um, the parking lot that comes in, the proposed one that we're going to be building coming in off of uh, Anthem Way, or I'm sorry, Constitution, on the east side of the the park will be connected by uh, concrete paths that run uh, kind of on the semicircle, the western edge of that parking lot. There will be a concrete path to connect people to the existing parking lot that's there today. Um, and we are planning on having a future parking lot coming in off of uh, American Way off the south that will feed those two existing Little League fields. It's just not in the plan right now. We are looking to see if we can put in a drive to put in some temporary parking. It would be like a decomposed granite or some type of material to allow people to park in that location. But uh, right now, it's, we're still trying to get all the grading finalized. Okay. Uh, what about the, uh, the dog park it shows in here? Because that's been brought up at the community meetings. And I, I think a lot of people think the dog park's b being put in right now. That's not the case, right? Right now, we're trying to do the mass grading for uh, everything in this area. The dog park may lag between six to nine months from the uh, completion of the softball and the multi-purpose. Uh, the anticipated opening of when the softball and multi-purpose will be brought on is January of 2014. Um, dog park is still in the, in the plan. It's just we're trying to refine the plans and make sure that we've brought it on and designed it in the best way uh, we can. So it will <laughs> lag a little bit behind, but we are still planning on bringing it on. Yeah. One last question. Yes. There's three different covenants that there now, right? There's the, the, the Park side and the Sun City and then the Anthem at Merrill Ranch. Uh, the Anthem at Merrill Ranch covers the common areas, if I understand it correct. Yes, sir. We have two HOAs. One's a Park side HOA, one's a Sun City HOA. And then we have the Anthem at Merrill Ranch Community Council, which oversees uh, this community park right here and the uh, Post and View Golf Course. Those are the two main assets of the Community Council. Okay. And that's not an HOA? The Community Council is not an HOA, no. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any further questions at this time? Uh, are you going to expand uh, the way it shows here are, uh, off of uh, Anthem Way? Is that is that parking lot expanded or is it just the same size it is? No. What you're seeing up there is what's in. So it's kind of grayed out, um, yeah. the parking lot that's existing to serve the, the playground um, and the amphitheater. It's kind of grayed out. That is the con current configuration. So it, it's in, in its entirety. So about 150 cars are running there probably. Uh, like that. Did we provide the existing parking? I can't remember. I that. No, no okay. we did not. I, I apologize. I don't have the, no, that's a, okay. the parking count. It says 185, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. My yep. bigger than that's on the other side, though, isn't it? Constitution. Oh. The Constitution oh, one is 185. Yeah. 
This one's much more. It's 185. Feet. Yeah, so 185 stalls, new stalls mm -hmm. that we brought in on that new parking lot we're putting in. Okay. Do I have any further questions? Um, I, I just have, um, I'd like you guys to think about something. Um, yes, sir. And, and maybe take this up at the next board meeting. Um, I, I would like to see this park, this memorial park named the Dominic Ladizio Memorial Park. Um, and you, I don't know if you know Dominic. I did know Dominic, yes, yes. I did. And um, there's, a, there's a reason for that, and I think everybody understands the reason, and um, it'd be a nice gesture. No, I appreciate the comment. Uh, I think as Gilbert alluded to, every Sun City that has one of these parks is, goes back and it's named the Del E. Webb Memorial Stadium. And it goes back to, uh, obviously, Del Webb, the founder of uh, one, of our, one of the sister companies in Pulte. Um, Del Webb was a huge baseball fan. He was part owner of the Yankees at one time. Um, and it's kind of a trib company tribute to the founding father uh, that we name all the softball. But I will bring it up. I appreciate the comment. Sure. Thanks, Dan. I have a couple for you. I just yes, and more sir. minor more clarification. Yes, sir. Uh, make sure you're looking at the same thing. Okay. Uh, tonight we're approving the the stadium and the two soccer fields. Is that correct? The parking lot. Uh, I believe that what we've in your broad put before you is the architecture for the stadium, which is the the seating area, like uh, was shown and then the restroom structure itself. Yeah, um, as said before, just to clarify, the stadium is what's on review tonight, and that includes... The only reason I'm asking is because they're greened in like everything else in the press. No, it's just the stadium and all the, the, uh, the amenities behind it, so the uh, concession stand, the restrooms, the parking lot. That's what we're looking at tonight, and that's okay. it. All right, so I'm not going to see soccer fields pop up after tonight. That well, is a part of it. The, what, ca uh, what made the design review happen is because of the structure, the vertical structures of the stadium and the concession stand. That's why we're having design review. They are building, if I'm correct, the softball field and the two uh, soccer fields in conjunction. Yeah, correct. as part of this, this, is part of the this phase. phase of development, we're bringing on two multi-purpose, which will fill out that corner that we've got at Merrill Ranch Parkway in Constitution. Uh, the softball field, uh, parking lot, eventually the dog park, and then the current restrooms. Okay, uh, I just want to make sure, because it, it was Sure. I knew it was greened in, but we kept saying just the baseball field, just the baseball field. So Now, as he commented, it's, it's because it went vertical. Um, you guys didn't really approve the golf course. So that being said, it's the same, same goes with mm -hmm. the, uh, the I do have, I do have one other question. Uh, why wasn't this presented before the construction started? This was presented back when they came to us uh, about four or five years ago. Uh, they had a conceptual idea, um, and it's kind of what uh, Mr. Um, Bono here was trying to uh, come to us in the beginning was, we'd seen this, but not this structure. But not this. This portion, we, we didn't, we had no concept of this. Well, back to so, my question. They've started working on it, grading's been done, and here we are approving it tonight. The town, does, the town does allow what we call pre-approval pre uh, grade leveling. It has, it's really just moving dirt around to get ready to do everything. They can't start physical construction until it's been approved. But they can, what's it called, pre-grade something something? We're, we've been grading the site. That's what right. you're saying. The earth moving operations right now are, are going forward. Uh, the two multi-purpose are graded out. We're working on the pads for the stadium and the restroom right now, trying to relocate some water sewer lines. Uh, so we're working on the, the earth moving operations. Um, everything, at least from this standpoint, is, is at risk. We have submitted building plans to the town. Um, we've been, we are in the process of pulling a foundation permit. So uh, once that's ready from the town, we're gonna start construction on the foundation. Um, but we feel we've got a great product and Oh, that's going to be a huge asset to the community. No doubt about that. Okay. No doubt about that. I just. I do have one last question, and I'm quite sure I already know your answer, <laughs> but you have reviewed the six stipulations set forth by the town? Yes, I have. And you're in concurrent, but you yes, agree with them? Yes, we are. Okay, thank you very much. Do I have any further questions? If I have no further questions, I will take a motion on this case. 
I'll make a motion that we approve case PZC-30-13-DR, dash dash the uh, design review application for Pulte Del Webb Memorial Stadium as presented with the uh, six stipulations in the staff report. I'll second. I have a motion on the floor tonight made by Commissioner Petty, seconded by Commissioner Puttrick to approve the di design review on PZZ 30-13-Design Review, Pulte Del Webb Memorial Stadium. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Your design review has been approved. Next agenda item for this evening will be agenda item number six. This is the staff report. Mr. Ogeen. Wanted to mention to uh, chair, vice chair, commission, we are um, asking if one or two of you would like to go to the uh, Arizona APA conference in Scottsdale. Um, what it provides is a lot of uh, information on how um, Planning works um, not just for the planners and for directors, but also for um, uh, commission members. Um, a lot of opportunities, a lot of different classes that are offered, uh, kind of show you the inner workings of what we do: um, sustainability, design. I mean, it, all of that's covered. Uh, we go because we learn a lot, and uh, in the past, uh, we've we've been allowed to, um, or we've been able to fund for a couple of positions work with our commission. Uh, several years back. Funding was, uh, we had more funding, so we, we were able to take everybody, but we can't. So if a couple of you would like to go, you uh, let us know as soon as possible, and we can make those arrangements. Um, that includes um, the tuition, uh, not so much the, uh, the room, um, that'll be on you, but we can provide town transportation, you can carpool. We have a wonderful Scion that gets great gas mileage, and you, uh, it might take you a little, get, a little while to get there, but, but it works fine. So just let us know, um, and that will conclude my staff report. Thanks. Next agenda item for this evening will be call to the commission. I'm sorry, call to the public for commission response. Uh, call to the public for public comment on issues within the jurisdiction of the Planning Zoning Commission. Individual commission members may respond to criticism made, may ask the staff review a matter raised, or may ask that a matter be put on a future agenda. It, this time the call to the public is now open. In the absence of the public, I'm going to close the call to the public and open it to the commission. Mr. I'm sorry, uh, Commissioner Anderson. Uh, yes, I'd like to get a copy of the master plan, Gilbert, whatever was approved several years ago for uh, Anthem, Merrill Ranch. Is that possible? We can look our files and give you what was submitted. Thank you. Commissioner Reed? Uh, no, I have nothing. Commissioner Petty? Nothing. Commissioner Puttrick? Yeah, just a comment. I'm sorry that Dan left. Um, I, I was um, going to suggest that um, Pulte owes everybody in Sun City a car wash because of all moving all the dirt from this field over to the, uh, the Franklin Road site, but since Dan's not here, no car wash. No car wash. <laughs> I wasn't holding my breath anyway. <laughs> well, let's see. And then, then I guess that leaves me. Uh, I guess my call is going to be to you guys. Uh, let's not let the funds available for the training this year go by the wayside. Uh, the APA conference is close this year. It's, it's a phenomenal conference. If, if I wasn't working, I'd be going myself. But if we've got two... Let's make sure that two people go. Uh, there's a lot to be learned at this conference, so I'd like to hear that by September we have two people identified to go and that everything's going to be great. We so. need to know in two weeks. Oh, I'm just saying I'd like to hear in September right. that we, yeah. yeah. I'm just letting, uh, right. letting commissioners know. We get, a, we get a different rate if we can get you booked sooner. So, uh, unless somebody else or two other people want to We can to talk go. about it after the meeting. Yeah. I'm always ready to go. So if I have no further call from the commission, uh, we'll go ahead and adjourn this meeting at 624. This meeting is now adjourned.